Hello and welcome back to another Talk and Tell video. In today's one, we're going to be looking at the Tim and T, the Archie Adventures mini series, which was the first three issues before it got turned into the ongoing series. And with this one, I I sort of knew what to expect, but at the same time, I wasn't too sure. So for some little con, or I mean so, some context, I've I've had this book for oh god, I want to say ten years, I want to say. But I've never read it. So today I thought, oh, well, you know, I might start a new series. I can probably start this one. And I read it, and going into this one, I sort of knew what to expect because I knew that this was based on the first five episodes from season one or the episode seven show. So I sort of vaguely knew what to expect. But at the same time, I'm just shocked how fast they were going through the first episode, I, I want to say episode 2 as well, I want to say, and I was surprised by the changes, which there wasn't really that many, I mean, there was some which was like taking, like, some stuff from the show that was taken out for, like, time stuff, which only made the comic worse, but even with, like, actual stuff within the actual issue itself, um, I mean, they were, like, changing characters, such as, like, from, like, Leo to Raph, or Raph to Leo in, like, certain situations, which was just so... Bizarre, considering that someone watched the episode and wrote down the entire script, and then just decided to like draw it again, only to change it. It's just so weird and stupid. But I know that like back in the day, it was probably hard to tell with like some animation errors or TV quality being bad. But at the same time, I'm pretty sure you can tell like like difference between Leo and Raph. So yeah, um. Okay, yeah, so with this one, I'm not too sure how to really go around this one, just because I don't want this just to be a typical, oh, well, in this episode, they did this and this and this, and just me reviewed the actual episode, but I more or less have to, but, yeah, okay, so, oh, God, where do we begin? Um, I, I will start with some, like, nice things to say about this issue. I do think that there was some, like, bits in this issue that was... Like, explained a little bit more nicely compared to a show where some bits felt a little bit rushed. I'd say, like, near the beginning of the episode where the like, Tulsa are fighting the, like, gang, I'd say that bit there was, I wouldn't say confusing in the actual episode, but because of how fast pace it was going and stuff like that, it was, I don't want to say it's hard to keep up, but it was, like, I don't know how the best way to describe it, but, like, with all the action, you could sometimes get lost with what they're trying to say in actual show. So having clarification in the comic where it actually spells it out, uh, it was quite nice to actually know what some characters were saying compared to the show. But that's the only good things I can say about this issue. Um, I'd say like the artwork was quite nice as well. It reminded me a lot of like, Jim Lawson, but at the same time, better <laughs> so that was kind of better and then let's just talk about the negatives so oh boy where do we begin with this one um so i mean i feel like everyone who and is basically a 12 fan has seen or at least the first five episodes or season one from their seventh show so going into this one i mean i enjoyed I enjoyed those five episodes more than the other episodes in that show just because like there was an actual story and felt like things were going in a better direction than what the show did go in which was a little bit disappointing and I've like, seen how they went with this <laughs> issue it's just so bizarre how fast I was trying to go through this comic despite them having like 30 pages which is more than what we get now it's just so shocking that with like some of the changes I was making into this one and it just felt like it was just like just going at fast pace and it wasn't really trying to slow down to like get the viewer intrigued by it and I think it felt like it was just going at such a fast pace where at that point you must just watch that, the actual episode and get a better <laughs> idea of what's actually happening. It's just like so weird just because like one specific example I can really give is like when the tolls in the actual episode they go to the pizza parlor to you know do some um, exploring about the actual f uh, about like the, about what, like fitness and stuff like that 
And in that one, April uh, says, oh yeah, she's gonna go out, do some exploring, and while well, Toes eat the pizza. In this one, April's like, oh, uh, you know, like, well, you're ninjas, like, what, like, people are gonna go to a pizza parlor. The next panel, she's already out of the building to a security office. They don't explain it whatsoever, and and then, like, immediately after that, after the so was like, oh no, where's April? They go out, they see all the purrs, they go up to the roof, and then they start fighting. It's just, that, there's no, they don't pace it out too well, and I know that this was supposed to be a mini-series of three issues, but at the same time, like, they definitely could have paced out a lot better compared to, like, the show, which... I know that like, they had five episodes and and had a lot more time to do things and stuff like that. But at the same time, with, with the comic where it's to, like how like specific things which weren't really necessary, it's just so bizarre that it was able to screw up this badly. But at the same time, it was the eighties, so there was at least some excuses there. I want to say so. Yeah, but, yeah, I'd say that overall, it's just so weird that, it, like, how they just kept jumping from, like, one scene to the next without much context and stuff like that. I felt like so much of this would have actually been a lot more enjoyable had they actually paced out a lot better, because, I mean, I, I wouldn't say it's bad, it just feels, it's just, like, you're just jumping all over the place without too much context, which is just annoying. But I'd say that because I also do know the context behind everything, I feel like that's also what's making it a lot worse compared to what it probably was back in the day if you didn't actually know the show. But at the same time, why would you, re why would you be reading this comic if you didn't know about the show? This is just... Uh, but... Yeah, and then even for like the cliffhanger bit, which was supposed to be... I believe it's supposed to be episode 2, I want to say, or episode 3. It's the one where Toad's going to a Technodrome and they're about to fight the robots. I don't really un I don't think they understood uh, the meaning of the word cliffhanger because the Tales walked into a room, some robots, and like, oh no, and then we just end it off there. Like, I feel like there's definitely there areas you could have ended it, but no, it's just so bizarre with this issue. But yeah, so overall for this issue. It wasn't bad, but I felt like they could have paced this whole story out a lot better. But I know that because it wasn't an original story or anything like that, there was a lot of limitations and stuff like that. And also with all the errors and just everything jumping around from scene to scene, it just felt so rushed and just... I don't want to say boring, but it just felt so rushed and just bad in a way. And I feel like I would have got a lot more enjoyment out had I actually paced this story out a bit better, but... Yeah, I want to say, so, yeah, I mean, if you've seen the show, then I'll just say just stick to that, but if you haven't and you're reading these comics, what are you doing with your life? <laughs> oh, but, um, yeah, let me know in the comment section below what you think about this issue. Do you like it? Do you not? And, uh, yeah, uh, that's going for today, guys. If it doesn't, please share the subscribe and all stuff. Goodbye, yo. Bye.